Hey guys, this is Pratik from IoT Bits and this time we've got some power LEDs. These are 1 watt each and well, guess what? Most of the time when you buy these things and when these things actually cost extremely low, you can actually end up believing that these things are available for cheap and you can probably use them in your one of your projects. But you know what the problem is with cheap LEDs like that? Well, they are absolutely crap quality and the problem is that you know when you put these things in parallel which you shouldn't by the way but even then you know sometimes you can actually match um, leds from the same batch when they are paralleled you can actually uh, get away without really uh, damaging one led or a section of the parallel chain if you try to maintain a proper temperature across uh, all the leds but in this case you'd actually notice that um, almost a huge fraction of these LEDs are seriously mismatched and that kind of mismatch can actually lead to serious problems in circuit design because you know if you have two drivers then you won't really even get the same brightness out of multiple LEDs here and that that can be a pain in the butt so we're just simply going to use the continuity mode on the uh, multimeter and just check for leakages or you could simply put it in you know uh, the, the diode testing mode here we have the Agilent multimeter it's the U1231A and let's see what the brightness is on these LEDs well you can see the brightness on this one and compare it with the brightness well there we have it <laughs> like you can see here in, in, in this case this LED does not really shine as bright as this one this is almost twice in brightness the reason well this thing probably has a lot of leakage so that's why this is brighter and this one is not as bright so the problem is that when you when you parallel these two devices um, the thing is that one of them will end up sinking much higher current even when both of them are at the same temperature so uh, this is a classical sign of crappy LEDs that you shouldn't really be getting from eBay and stuff well let's strike that out and uh, let's take a look at how many others are okay well this is a bright one so uh, we'll keep that aside by the way, a point to note, you shouldn't really touch with your hand both the contacts on the LEDs because, you know, any kind of static discharge can actually damage this. And by the way, the worst thing here is that these LEDs came wrapped in polythene. How smart is that? Because you don't really want, uh, you know, your electronics to be packed in poly bags, especially uh, power LEDs because... You know what happens is that the static charge directly jumps from this terminal to this and it damages the internal structure creating uh, a resistance in parallel to this you know it can be actually uh, the damage can be modeled as a resistance in parallel with this LED so what happens is that when you actually damage this LED with ESD uh, and you get a parallel resistance the resistance starts dissipating energy instead of your actual light emitting diode inside of that so when that happens you end up getting what we just got one LED that is damaged has a very low intensity of light when given the same current as one of the good LEDs so let's test some other LEDs out again this is pretty low on brightness This one seems bright. Set this aside and not so bright. Nope. Nope. Yep, this is good. Nope. Yep, this is good. This is pretty good too. Not really. <laughs> yeah, this is good. 
this is good as well yeah this is good no 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 so as you can see out of a lot of about 20 LEDs we have just a fraction of them okay and that's really bad because if you're actually ordering in large quantities you should take this figure into account that uh, you know most of your LEDs are just going to turn out bad and most probably not even useful so now that you know that most of these extremely cheap LEDs on eBay are just not usable and you should be very careful when trying to buy these things so you know that's all for this video we're going to take some of these LEDs and actually make a driver for these and we would try to control it using MQTT and ESP8266 by the way we also have the ESP32 from Espressive Systems so why not just uh, try to control these lights using ESP32 that that would be interesting so that's going to come up in some of the later videos if you're interested in that, if you work on embedded electronics or IoT, then, you know, subscribe to our channel. We have videos like this coming up every now and then. So, you know, hit subscribe, stay updated. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.